the United States of America take on England tomorrow and this is uh, group number 2 happening at Barbados uh, it's not uh, i mean it is a knockout mathematically us is still in so it is a knockout for both these uh, games <laughs> i'm sure michael has tuned in to talk, listen to what we are talking about <laughs> tomorrow because every time it's an england game we see him biting on his nails chewing his nails they had a narrow i mean it was a close game but that loss to south africa is going to hurt Yeah, it does. Uh, there's no doubt about that. They could be in a much stronger position. Uh, I think for the US, I think they've got to win by about 80 runs to mm-hmm. even stay remotely alive in uh, in the tournament. Um, and they they are coming off a beating against the West Indies, aren't yes. they? So, so after all the um, profile and and emotion around their big win against Pakistan, uh, the US have. It's been a, a harder slog. It's been a real awakening for them of what it's like playing with the big boys of world cricket. So, but they'll be all better for the experience, and and so too for cricket in the US. Hopefully, the profile is there, and it, it catches on in some manner that they can sustain a program. But um, there, there hasn't been enough returns from a, a few players. Uh, I mean, Aaron Jones's form Different. slipped off since he assumed the captaincy. Mm. Um, I think uh, Anderson is, is just hasn't delivered the uh, the results that he probably would be expected of him. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, we uh, but England on the other hand that they were that sort of almost missed out on Super 8s, then played that beautiful match against the the hosts, looked mm-hmm. really good, suddenly looked like they were favourites, and and then they just fell short the other day. So, um, Adil Rashid's the key for me, I think, for England uh, as this tournament progresses. I know Archer's been a standout bowler. Yes. No doubt about that, but I think Adil Rashid more so. I think Archer benefited um, from you know the more seam bowl of uh, friendly wickets earlier on, but now on these drier Caribbean wickets, Rashid in the last two games has been yeah. exceptional. Zach for uh, USA, you know they've really missed their captain. Uh, Aaron Jones has been the standing captain, but they missed Monak Patel, who had a good game against Pakistan. So that batting uh, top order was kind of being held by him as well. Uh, any changes you see? Because in the bowling department, we've seen what Saurabh Netravalkar has done. But uh, uh, any other changes you see at all? Aaron Ghost is the one who who's been impressive. Yeah, he's he's batted well. Uh, he he opened uh, <coughs> in uh, in absence of uh, Munank in the previous, uh, not the previous, the, the mm-hmm. game before that. Uh, I think his his form is also going to be critical. It's it's going to be a learning for US. You know that's how uh, we are seeing it at this stage. Tougher opponents, uh, bigger teams. Uh, I've liked their approach. You know their body language is something which I'm I'm impressed by. They believe. You know, so they believe on their day they can beat any team. That mm. is something which is very important. It's never going to be easy at this stage. Yes. Uh, so it's about just carrying this experience forward. You know, take the lessons uh, forward in your preparation and uh, and and keep uh, keep believing mm-hmm. is something you know which uh, which Stuart Law must be saying. You know, to mm-hmm. uh, to yes. all of them. And so far, it's been it's been good. There've been a lot of positives. You've seen Nitish Kumar also. He's mm-hmm. got a good flow of the bat. You've seen Aaron Jones, uh, uh, who's uh, who's had a A decent run in this World Cup. Uh, Kenji Gay is someone who has been uh, uh, good with the ball. Harmeet Singh, uh, good all-round performance uh, with the bat, with the ball. Uh, Netra Walker uh, has has been consistent with the new ball and uh, shown good signs of him developing into a, a good cricketer. Uh, so all all those positives are there. It's just about going and uh, expressing yourself uh, yourselves freely. Well, Gilly for uh, England, they'd want their captain to step up and get those runs because you know when Josh Butler gets those runs, how it kind of translates into the whole team uh, just getting uplifted. So they'd want him to get some runs. Uh, Livingston got good runs in, uh, but do you see any changes with with regards to the bowling at all? I think the only change may be Chris Jordan, possibly for Sam Curran, but I think Curran's done a better job. He hasn't taken a wicket, Curran, but I think. He, he can bowl some really important deliveries, not just important overs, but even important balls at the back end. Um, Hartley might come into contention with another spinning option um, at the expense. Of, but I think, I think the balance of their team that they've got that right. I think that's their team that they would say should they get through to the, to the World Cup final. That's our yes. most well balanced eleven. Um, that the one that they've played in the in the last couple of games and. Yeah, as I say, the the spin friendly conditions. I think Rashid um, 
will be really challenging. Even even Mo and Ali might be able to play a role in Barbados on a track that we've seen uh, is turning as another day game. Mm-hmm. It's such a difference yes. compared to the West Indies versus US game under lights in Barbados. The ball yeah. skidded on really nicely under the lights. Uh, so uh, they'll have to factor all that in. The toss might be an important one to win uh, there. We, we saw India and Rowett win the toss in Barbados and bat first in a day game. We sort of thought that goes against the grain of what people do, but it t- turned out being the right decision. All right, so your players to watch out for tomorrow then, one from each team. Zach. Players to watch out for, I think for US, I'll go with Sauro Netravalkar, the left arm. Yes. He's been uh, <laughs> impressive. <shocked> <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, and for uh, England, uh, Josh Butler. I think right. he, he needs to Same. fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'm going with Butler as well, actually, for England. I think I think mm-hmm. he could fire a big shot tomorrow and, and that'll help round off all that sort of preparations for England in regards to getting everyone yeah. fine-tuned. And I think Aaron Jones, he's, mm-hmm. he started the tournament in a blaze of glory. I think he could just fire one more big shot by the end of it too. 